Hi, so today I'm talking to you about standing out. I'm talking to you about standing out and I'm also talking to you about fitting in and not standing out. Uh, I've meant, and I'm talking about this because I've mentioned both in the past. I've mentioned, uh, I've mentioned how you should stand out, how when someone's looking for a potential freelancer or a potential freelance translator, they are going through potentially dozens or even hundreds of different profiles and names and you know they're, they're gonna be going through basically scrolling down and going through them very quickly. And so you kind of want to stand out. You want them to be able to pick you out of a lineup, so to say, and be able to say, oh, okay, that's someone that I should take note of. And they'll stop at your profile and they'll try to learn more about you. So you do want to stand out. On the other hand, you don't want to stand out, right? Because if someone has 10 or 20 different profiles and all of them look kind of similar and one looks different, they'll they'll think, okay, should I go with the ones that seem to all have the right, the same format or one who's really different? Uh, it might be safer to go with all these people. You know, 19 out of 20 people can't be wrong, especially if they're experienced freelancers. And this one might be experienced too, but it's, you know, it's a bit of a risk to go with someone who's completely different from what's the norm. So what should you do? So are you supposed to stand out or not stand out? And uh, how do you reconcile these two different facts? Well, I, uh, I have a solution. You can feel free to disagree, but I think I'm right. And uh, my, uh, my solution to this is to basically lean into whoever you are. Be, be yourself, uh, so to speak. And uh, what I mean by this is um, if, if you're a type of person, let's say you're quite a loud person. If you're a loud person and it comes across usually when you write, when you show yourself, when, you know, when, in, in who you are, then be loud. Be that type of person. If you're a very serious person and you just like to concentrate on what you do and do it well methodically and logically, then be serious. Be that type of person. If you're funny, then be funny. What happens that way is that your profile will stand out for the right reasons. It'll stand out for whatever makes you you. So let's say you're a funny person and you like to come across that way. You're very relaxed. You're outgoing. You know, you like talking to people, stuff like that then make a profile like that. Have your picture show you like that because that's who you are. Have your profile be like that. When you email uh, prospective clients, sound like that. And because this will, it will show who you are and so it will help you stand out in a way. Um, on the other hand, it won't be something where you're trying too hard or you, know, you come across as fake or false or you know, contrived because you're trying to stand out even though and it's completely unnatural. Also, and, and so yeah, so you will stand out but in a more natural way. And the thing is, you know, a lot of people might think, well, you know, I'm usually too playful and I'm very loud and outgoing. But uh, most of these people say they want a more serious type of person. I don't want to miss out on the type of clients who are looking for someone serious who you know, just gets down to work and, uh, and, and I don't want to be too loud and miss out on that business, which is true. On the other hand, you could miss out on the other side as well, right? You could write up something that's very serious and just business-like and post that while you have a prospective client going through and they like the idea of someone loud. And there's another profile of someone who looks loud and outgoing and fun and they'll be like, oh, I'd rather click on that person and deal with them. So you could miss out either way. And at least if you're leaning into who you are, if you're being more natural to yourself, then you will attract the type of clients that suit you. So if you are outgoing and uh, you like to joke around and that's, type of your, that's your personality, you're more jovial, you're more like that, then you will attract the type of client who likes to work with someone like that. And so you will attract a better type of client in the long term. Let's face it, there is no profile that can guarantee you will attract 100% of all the clients. In fact, as I've mentioned before, a lot of it is just a numbers game because clients are just scrolling up and down and so many times it's just random or it's someone who went to the same school that they did or you know something catches their eye or something doesn't catch their eye and they they decide to go purely based i mean it really is kind of a crapshoot okay you know they're going to go by price on the other hand you, and i've talked about this at length before you don't want to just put lower prices because that can create a huge downward spiral that you don't want and you want to create you want quality clients as well and so what are you going to do how are you going to differentiate yourself but not stick out too much but make sure they can notice you etc 
And I do think this is a good solution to lean into who you are. You know who you are more or less, I imagine. And uh, if not, you can ask your friends because they're going to know what type of person you are. And uh, you'll be able to see. And so if you are the type of serious person who really doesn't like the frills and thrills and you just like to get your work done and that's it, fine. Don't walk away from that. Don't try to be more outgoing or look more flashy than you are. Just put what you are, how you are, and trust me, it'll work out better. Also because that is that is who you are. And if you have to fake it, you can only fake it for so long. So that's my advice. Now, I do want to give a certain caveat to this because a lot of people, they'll hear me say this and they'll, they'll hear, oh, I should just be who I am. I should be natural, which means I should never do anything I don't feel like doing because I should just be natural and that's it. That's not what I'm saying at all. You, this is not ex an excuse to not ever leave your comfort zone. You need to leave your comfort zone sometimes. You're going to have to do things that are hard, that are different, that feel, uh, you know, that that are that are difficult to do, that feel forced in a way because uh, you have to push yourself to do it. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't do these things. You have to. But there is a way to do them and still be natural. Let me give you an example because it's easier than trying to explain it this way. For me... Meeting people face to face, going to these networking events especially, is always an endeavor. It's always hard. I never feel like going at all. And, you know, I'll just be there. I'll even plan to go and I have everything ready. And then at the last minute, I'll be finding all types of excuses not to go. And uh, I, I'll try to think, oh, I could actually keep getting work done or maybe this. Da, 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 and then I won't have to go. And I really have to force myself to go because I know it's good to go. I know face to face meeting people face to face, getting known around there, creating a network, all that stuff, it's good to do. And um, no matter how many excuses I try to find not to go, I know I need to go. So what should I do? Should it, Does that mean I should be, be fake, so to speak, and just go there and uh, be the networking type of person? Well, no, I feel like I can go there and still be myself. So I know I need to network face to face. But when I go to these events, I usually, I don't try to act like the guy who feels comfortable talking to everyone and always wants uh, people to talk to and hang out with and likes the crowd and is very outgoing and uh, extroverted and stuff. No, I don't pretend to be there. I go there and I'll, you know, grab a beer and I'll choose a person or maybe two people to talk to. And I, I'm open about it. You know, I say, I, I say usually, you know, I, I, uh, I'm not used to going to these networking events. I have to push myself to do it. Usually once I get there, they're fine. I'll find a couple of people to talk to. I have a beer and I'm happy. And so I say, you know, usually once I get here, I, you know, it's not bad at all. And I kind of like it, but you know, I really have to push myself to go to these things. And seriously, almost all the time, the person I'm talking to can relate. And, you know, either they'll say, they'll say, yeah, it's the exact same thing for me. You know, I had to push myself and in which case right away you have a camaraderie, you know, you have a, you have a partner in crime, if you will. And, but even if not, even if they feel very outgoing, you know, they'll, they'll tell you. In fact, I've had a couple times where I've had someone who is obviously very outgoing. They feel very comfortable and they'll tell me, they'll say, look, I used to be that way. And, uh, but this is what I did in order to change. Or, um, I, I had another guy who he actually, uh, mentors other people and helping them be more outgoing. And so I kind of brought that up and he's like, Oh good. You know, because I need, I've been meaning to practice some of my mentorship skills and all that. And, uh, and so we started talking about that. Basically what I'm saying is if you're honest about who you are, it really helps in the long term. Because you never know what'll click and it'll be great. If you go out there pretending to be extroverted and outgoing and uh, yeah, you know, it might click, but you're going to have to keep doing that, which will be very tiring. And uh, so, yeah, what I'm saying is lean into who you are, be who, be who you are and, uh, and just go with that because chances are you'll find someone who will appreciate it and it'll be a lot more natural for you. You'll feel a lot more comfortable doing it which is good. This is not an excuse to not ever step out of your comfort zone. Realize that you have to, and you will have to do certain things to grow your business and to build it, but you can still do so while being comfortable in your shoes, if you will, and being natural as a person. I hope this made sense, and uh, I hope you're able to use this and in, uh, in your endeavors and and yeah, I hope you're able to use it in your marketing, whether it's face-to-face -face or also online with your profile in case you're wondering if you should stick out more or less or something along those lines. 
because uh, I know this can be, you know, an issue if uh, you're trying to fit in, but you're trying to stick out and you're not sure exactly how to go about this because your online persona is a pretty big part of who you are when you're working as a freelancer and everyone's finding you online. So I do hope you find this useful. If you did, please don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and you will have more videos about freelancing, about freelance translation, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.